Hey, what's up, Musers? This is John at Muse for You, and in this five-minute video, I'm going to be reviewing a few Adobe Muse websites of the day to hopefully give you some ideas and inspiration for your websites, and hopefully give me some ideas for videos that I can create for my Muse for You YouTube channel. So let's begin. <laughs> Okay, so the first website I'm going to review is this time-lapse Wilshire. I'm going to re review these first four and the first one is time-lapse Wilshire. Okay, so I'm going to click on it and just take a look. It looks like a blog. Yeah, it says time-lapse Wilshire, a blog about a film, about a county. And if I scroll, it looks really clean. They have some nice captions. And if I click on read more, uh, they have the full article. They call them a shoot, so shoot one through 14 they have here. And if you scroll down, you can see more of the article. And right here, they have a discuss comment section. It's a comment widget. Um, here it says, you know, discuss. Uh, in this widget, you can actually get in Muse Themes. And uh, there's a link to Muse Themes in the description area. Just click show more, and there'll be a link to Muse Themes. And you can actually get this widget uh, right with uh, right when you when you sign up with Muse Themes. Um, so I might make a video on this on how to create uh, an Adobe Muse blog with uh, a disc a discuss uh, commenting section. Uh, you do need to have a discuss uh, account, but uh, yeah, I'll make a video on how to do that. That looks really nice. And then you can go go to the different articles here. They call them shoot shoots, or uh, and here's the shoot list. All right, and then they have an about page. Looks nice, and they have a nice uh, contact section here with uh, CAPTCHA, so anti-spam, uh, with anti-spam text, uh, which another word for that is CAPTCHA. Alright, and they have a nice banner up here, you can click to shoot 9, looks good. Alright, that's good, that was time timelapsewilshire.co.uk. Uh, the next website I'm going to review is called standardissuedesign.com, and it's the United States. And uh, basically, right off the bat, uh, I'm impressed with this full screen image slider. They have some really nice photography. And if I click on standard issue, they have their different projects and they have a gallery for each of their projects. And I do like these uh, next and forward buttons. They're really nicely designed. And then when you hover over in the middle, you can go back to the all the projects here and go to a different gallery. So that's really nice. I like how they implemented that and their photography is really amazing and, and the des design of this website is nice and clean. If I go to about, again they have another gallery and it'll take you to the projects page again. So nice, very nice and clean, awesome photography and all done in Adobe Muse. Alright, the next website is called 50 Shades of Grey and this is United States. This is from the Daily Beast and I really like this site. Um, it has some cool parallax scrolling and I even think they have some video uh, in their in their parallax and uh, in their banners here, uh, but then they have this really cool parallax effect, the scroll effect with an opacity effect on these on this text here. If you watch it, it kind of does this cool motion and then fades out, and then here on the left does it at well does it as well. And they have some video here that you can play. So watch this on the left. It has a you know this whole text here. It has a cool scroll effect. Looks nice. And then over here to the right, a nice scroll effect and yeah they have a nice scroll effect on that banner and more scroll effects I think this is kind of a video or maybe they cropped out the image of this lady and had her kind of scrolling in from the right to the left I'm not sure but I'll look into this and I might make a video on how to do that how to make maybe they have the video playing as you scroll but yeah that's a very cool effect I mean that lady moves as you're scrolling so I, I really like that cool and then they have a link to their website um, to their uh, magazine, I think, or their articles online, thedailybeast.com. And cool. Um, I don't really watch Fifty Shades of Grey, so I wouldn't know. Their title is How Fifty Shades of Grey Killed Sex. I wouldn't know. Uh, I don't wa really watch the show. Uh, but over here, as you scroll to, they have uh, a little scroll effect motion that turns from black to white, and in between it's gray to, to show you how far along you are on the page, which matches their 
Fifty Shades of Grey theme. So just look up here and you can see it, like kind of, you see that black line kind of turn from black to white. All right, cool. So that's uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, United States. And then the last one that I'm going to review is Munch Magazine. I'm gonna do this fairly quickly because I only have 30 seconds. But yeah, it looks really clean. Their menu up at the top pops in, very nice. Um, I'll go to another page. They have some cool scroll effects. Another nice menu here. Um, their about page. Oh wow. Yeah, I'll do a video on how to do this very cool scroll effect. Like the image changes and they have some nice, um, oh they have these really nice hover effects here. That's awesome. Then I'll go to appetizer and they have a purchase now button and some nice photos, a nice gallery and yeah and then um, purchase you can price purchase their um, their magazine or their publication and they have a cool banner here at the top and then contact uh, I really like this page if you click general they have it looks like they have different departments so when you click on the different departments you have a different contact form um, I will make a video on how to do this and then they have a special thanks to those who helped with munch that looks cool and yeah, I like the menu at the top. I'll make a video on that and I'll do a video on this. So very cool, very nice design, really clean, really like the effects, looks really awesome. So that's it for this five minute video tutorial uh, on the Adobe Muse website of the day. Hopefully you got inspired and got some ideas from it. Uh, I got a few video ideas that, I, that I'll be uh, doing uh, just from some of these websites that I've seen. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe uh, below. And on Tuesdays, I upload a new video. Wednesday, I do a live Q&A. Thursday, I do uh, an Adobe Muse website of the day review. And Friday, I do a live discussion on Adobe Muse and web development in general. And yeah, web development with Adobe Muse. Uh, so thanks for watching. I really make these videos to help you uh, learn Adobe Muse and build awesome websites uh, with no code so you can get started you know, right away and build really amazing websites. So I'm, I'm glad if, if I can be helpful. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.